welcome. Um, yeah, doing ultra 150 carb cleaning and uh, just going through it, see what's going on with it. Um, it's Kawasaki jet ski. It was flooding a lot last year, just running really poor. And uh, these carbs are pretty sophisticated, I guess I'll say. They're not normal carbs. Um, so we'll take it apart clean out all the areas and uh, I know there's not a whole lot of ultra 150 guys out there maybe still a lot of guys out there though so this might help out somebody um, but uh, yeah we'll get this started got a new guy here too you guys should check out because he's just awesome um, he's a golden slash poodle so they call him golden doodles And his name is Cooper. So yeah, that's... Where is he? Cooper, come here, buddy. We're looking at him. Yeah. Cooper, he's come here. There you are. Cooper. It's about 12 weeks old. Hey, these he's are the smarting. Boys. Come here. Cooper, watch. Sit. Like. Good boy. A unique design. Good boy, Cooper. Anyways, yeah. New addition. He'll be in lots of videos here. All right, let's get this started. So. So yeah. Basically, uh, start with this, and go from there. I'm gonna take all four screws out. I don't know if you guys can see that fairly. One. Two, three, four, and so on. Uh, probably fast forward a lot of this because I don't really want to watch too much of that, but I'm going to start with that. Okay, we're back. Uh, gonna take this one off. So what from I, what I can tell, this area here, this diaphragm system, is what I'm calling it for now. Uh, I don't think it's ever been taken apart, um, and the reason I say that is just the crud, the crud that's all built up in here. This side's not too bad. We can definitely see crud in here, though, down in the bottom. Uh, overall, the rest is good. So that's where the carb cleaner is going to come in handy. You know, I'm just going to clean it out. I got a little brush here somewhere that I should go find. These dogs are fighting here, so I better... deal with that. The little one, which is the big one, 
the younger one I should say, thinks he's playing. He's constantly playing and he's picking on the little guy, the three year old, which his name's Charlie. The other one's Cooper, the big, big golden. So he loves getting in trouble. But that's a pup for you. All right, well, I'm gonna get uh, a toothbrush or something like that. Uh, clean this up with carb cleaner. I don't know if I'll really show that too much. I'm gonna have to order this diaphragm piece. You can clearly see, is it this one? Yeah, this. here we go. Clearly see where that should not be. Let me focus this. There should be no hole in that for sure. That I do know. So get this stuff all ordered up and put her back together. And when summertime shows up, right now we're in the middle of winter, uh, waiting for snow, obviously for this thing. Potentially planning a trip in the mountains in a month or so which we'll get this 146 out there and see what it can do. A little baby track. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. I so want to ride this thing. Okay, guys, other than that, uh, I think we found the problem with our flooding issue and just running poorly. The Kawasaki Ultra 150 jet ski, 2000 and, this one's a 2002. But I got two of them, one's a 99 and one's a 2002, something like that. Anyways, that, that's when they made these units, these machines. Great power, great speed, 65 mile an hour jet ski all day long, um, if not more. And uh, just got to get through some of the perks with old, you know, owning an older machine. Uh, you're going to run into problems like this, so... Uh, this looks like it's going to be a nice easy fix and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next video. Thanks guys.